Hello and welcome to this episode of Music with Tony Toppy. Today we're going to be talking about key signatures. Key signatures, as you would know in music, are certain combinations of flats and sharps that tell us the tonal centre of a piece of music. For today we'll be focusing on the major key signatures. They still apply to your minor key signatures, but just for the sake of keeping things simple and easy to remember, we're going to focus on the majors. So, we have up to seven sharps and seven flats in any one key signature. But as a basic rule, where would you find a key signature on a sheet of music? Well, if I head over to some music over here, you'll find right here in the beginning of the score, you'll find a key signature right there. It's three sharps. This is the hymn that we use at my school. And there's our key signature. There are three sharps and it's just in between the clef over here and the time signature which is there. Every time you want to find a key signature it will be in the exact same position. So back to our key signatures page here. So what are the key signatures? I'm going to stick in treble clef for the moment. If you have no sharps or flats, so zero sharps, zero flats, we will call that C major. If you're playing it on the piano, it's all the white keys from C to C. Now I'm going to teach you a little trick that helps you to remember or at least work out all the other key signatures. One little thing you will have to do on your part is to memorize the key signature that has one sharp and the one that has one flat. So if we're looking very carefully at here, I'll call this one number one for the moment. It's got one sharp. It's sitting up on the top line of the treble stave. And as we know, that is an F. So the sharp that is associated here is F sharp. And that belongs to the key of G major. You will have to memorize that. That will make life easier for you in the long run. And let's have a look at this flat one. We'll call this one number two just for the purposes of today. It's got one flat and that is B flat as it is situated on the middle line of the treble clef. And we call that F major. So no doubt you've heard of the circle of fifths. You could find many, many um, versions of the circle of fifths on Google if you just simply Google image circle of fifths. I'm going to use a similar principle here. And we're going to start with the sharp key signatures. So with the sharp key signatures, if you count how many notes between C and G, you will hopefully get to five. So I'll just write up the top here in blue, C, D, E, F, and G. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I had a little mistake there. So five is the number we are concerned about with regards to sharps. So from C, we move to G. Following that same principle, the next key along would be D major. One sharp, two sharps, followed by A, which is three sharps, followed by E, which is four sharps, etc. The actual combination or the pattern of the sharps follows the exact same principle of counting up to five. So here we go. C major has nothing in it. No sharps, no flats. G major, as we saw before, has the one sharp up here on the F. And that's the one you have to memorize. So the good thing with key signatures is that if you have a sharp to start off with, it will simply continue in every other key signature. There's no new combinations of key of sharps in any other key signature. So we called this one an F sharp 
And if we count up five notes from F, F, G, A, B, C, we get to C sharp. So often you'll ask hear teachers saying, tell me the um, names of the sharps in order. Well, this is the order that we use. And this is how it came about. So then by default, the two sharps of D major will carry into A major. Use the same principle. Let's start from C sharp and count up five. C, D, E, F and G. And there's our A major key signature. A very similar process will occur for E major, which has the four. So the three carry over from A major. And I'll just write these down over here so we don't get confused. Count up from G, G, A, B, C, D. And there is our fourth sharp for E major. It goes on and on and on up until we get to seven sharps. So I'm sure you can work out the rest of the process, but just to show you how it looks like. So there's our G major key signature, D major, A major, E major, A major, uh, B major, apologies, F sharp major, and our last one, C sharp major. So that's our information to do with the major sharp key signatures. Let's now go to our flat keys. So as we said before, to work out the sharps, we use the five uh, method, counting up by fives. To go with the flat keys, we're actually going to count up by four. So, once again, if I want to go from C to F, C, D, E, F, you will find that's actually four notes. One, two, three, four, and there's our number for the flats. Okay, back down to here. So, once again, we have our C, and count up four, and we get F. So, no sharps or flats, one flat over here. So there's our C. The one you need to memorize is this one. It's got the B flat. Now here we get a bit interesting with regards to the naming of the key signatures. If I count up four from F, I will get the following F, G, A, B. Now we know from our previous thing on the sharps, and I'll just write this up here, that we would get B over here as the one with five sharps. We can't have B over in the flat key signatures as well. So by pure default that F major has a B flat in it, it will have to be B flat over here as well. Because if we think the fourth note of F major is actually B flat, hence why the next scale will be called B flat it will have two flats. If I count up four from E uh, from B flat, we will get E flat and that will have three. If I count up four from E flat, I will get to A flat and that will have four sh uh, flats in it. The process to work out the next flat in the series is exactly the same way, count up four. I've got my B flat, which is going to carry over, and we'll count up four. B, C, D, E, so E flat. And there we have it. B flat and E flat. Those two flats will carry over. B flat and E flat. And then what's the third flat going to be? Count up four from E. E, F, G, A. This is really testing my alphabet skills here today. And onto the fourth one. So we carry over those three. B flat, E flat, A flat. Count up four from A. 
A, B, C, D, and we get D flat, etc. And like we did with the sharps, it goes up to seven flats. So I'll just do them all at once. One flat for F major, two flats for B flat major, three for E flat, four for A flat, five for G flat, uh, D flat, sorry, six for G flat major, and seven for C flat major. So I hope that's helped you a little bit with knowing your key signatures for major scales. There are a ton of other tricks out there, but this is the way that I think you will be able to not be fooled ever. It's a, sh a foolproof method, counting up by fives for sharps, counting up by fours for flats. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at tonytoppy at me.com. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next episode.